So this is, think of this as your nervous system, which I'll explain in a minute. I'm just going to do a high level science. It's not going to be crazy, but it'll, it'll help you understand what's going on. And it'll help you use these tools right now. Like right now, this is highly essential. So think of this as your nervous system. Think of this as your primitive brain or your survival brain. Uh, think of this as, uh, let's call it your amygdala, which is your danger mechanism. This is the part of you that they call the smoke detector. This is what's happening right now. A lot of people when they're going through a paranoia, um, this part's activated going danger, danger, right? It also happens a lot of times in your businesses. If the businesses are going down or if things are happening, this amygdala that is, is trying to allow us to survive is online. Uh, amygdala is collected to our limbic system. And then I'm going to do this. Imagine this is your neocortex, your ability to talk, uh, communicate words. And then right up here is your prefrontal cortex. This is your ability for executive functioning. So if this is my brain, when I go into a traumatized response or flight or flight, we, we flip our top. What that means is the amygdala says, ah, Go into survival brain, uh, we're in fight or flight, we need to survive. The executive function is not in, in running the show, which they would call the watchtower to make it simple. The fight or flight is actually running the show. The, the fight or flight response, which is the smoke detector says, danger, go into the survival brain, make things happen. So what happens when you move into fight or flight is the amygdala sends the response to your adrenal glands, your adrenal glands release cortisol into your system. Uh, cortisol turns on what's called your, your sympathetic nervous system. And when you turn on your sympathetic nervous system, uh, think about it as if you were, there was a prey and you were trying to get away, it, it, it's trying to help you get away. So it increases heart rate, um, you, it increases your, your breathing. So you do short, shallow breaths, your heart starts to beat faster. That blood get, gets pumped into your arms and into your legs so you can actually get away. Um, your, your focus gets very narrow. Uh, so your ability to see is like a little small hole like this. You're starting to see what the focus is. Uh, palms get sweaty, hair stands up, pupils get dilated. And then all of your non-essential functions, your digestive system, your immune system, um, your reproductive system shut off. So what's actually happening is your body's going, let me get me out of this state into a place that I can survive. And all that stuff gets shut off, including your watchtower or your executive functioning. So what's happened, and as you see this happening uh, a lot right now, people are in fight or flight. They're in heavy fight or flight, freaking out, and they're responding to survival mechanisms, right? And um, so typically what happens is there's, in this part of the brain, there's what's called the hippocampus. That absorbs cortisol, and what it does is it typically turns on, just, just really simple, it turns on parasympathetic, which reverses everything else. So your, bod your body's naturally built in to go into fight or flight and naturally recalibrate that. Um, just how we're wired. Uh, but what's happening is people are really scared and worried and going through this is they may stay in this fight or flight uh, place. And when you're in fight or flight, remember you're offline. So you can't actually think rational. So in order for you to be effective in your business right now, you really need your executive functioning, right? Your executive functioning is your ability to think clearly on how can I handle the situation? How can I, how can I build, like, how can I maximize this opportunity? What do I need to do with my business? So I'm gonna just gonna share a helpful strategy with you in order that you may need to use a lot that you can turn on your parasympathetic nervous system if you get in fight or flight. So this should be really helpful right now for you and your team. If people are getting scared, if people are getting worried and they're moving into fight or flight, here's how you can put yourself in the best possible place. Uh, the method I created, it's called CPR. Uh, first, it's called have conscious awareness that you're in a fight or flight state. Uh, fight or flight symptoms could look like you're either highly agitated, you're highly anxious, you're highly nervous. Um, again, you have narrow focus, um, or it could look like you're totally exhausted or depleted or fatigued. Because if we're in fight or flight for too long, we eventually run out of cortisol. And there's basically like bottom out symptoms when you run, when you run out of cortisol. So just notice you're in it, conscious awareness. Two, pause, literally pause. <laughs> Take a time out. And then three, there's a, there's a very specific type of breath work that you need to do. And what the breath work does is um, it turns on your parasympathetic nervous system. And we'll just do three breaths just so you guys can experience it. Um, and then, but you need to do this for three to five minutes. Uh, so if you sit down and just breathe for three to five minutes with this specific type of breath work, what it does is it's a six count in and it's a six count out. The six count out uh, turns on what's called your parasympathetic nervous system. And it also puts you in coherence with your heart. Uh, a lot of the research, when we're in fight or flight, we're stuck in the head and we're offline, right? We're in survival. So if you can breathe for three to five minutes with the six count in, six count out, 
six count in, six count out, what happens is you start to turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, you start to get coherence with your heart, it turns on oxytocin in your system, and you're able to get your executive function back online. Uh, when you can do that, you can now think rationally about your business and make, make solutions to both protect your business and start to figure out, okay, how, how do I navigate through this? Versus survival, you're going you're gonna to have a very limited focus and you're in fight or flight, you're in survival. So uh, I'll just walk you through real quick and then we can open it up for either questions about this or just in general, what, what do you need to do now? What are some best practices? But I want to give it to you so that you guys can actually do it. So we're just going to do it three times. Just go ahead and, and breathe in. Notice how you're feeling right now. If you notice some anxiety or uncomfortability, just notice how you're feeling and go ahead and breathe in for a six count. Go ahead and breathe in. And then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Another breath in. And then breathe out. So just notice if you if you slow down a little bit, um, you should notice a little calmer. We only did again three breaths but you really need three to five minutes of breathing like this. And again, the most important part is the out breath. Uh, the out breath, and again, it's highly effective. I, I teach this literally in, for first responders to how to do this in their lives. So this works just as effective for entrepreneurs. And again, recap, you wanna have your executive functioning on during these times and think practically um, so you can protect your business and also figure out game plans. How, how do you, what do you do in this situation? But in order to do it, you need to make sure you're online and you can use your executive functioning and you're not in a fight or flight, which will give you a very narrow focus and, and it puts you into that state. So I uh, wanted to start off with that. That way everybody has a good tool to use um, through what's happening because it's, uh, it's very common to get into fight or flight um, during what's happening, watching the media, going to the stores, um, feeling that fear creep in, the body's natural tendency is to turn on that, that fight or flight mechanism. Uh, and if you run on it too long, you're gonna deplete yourself of cortisol. So uh, just making sure you have some effective tools.